Hey, what's up, YouTube? So I've got a gameplay here of some MLB The Show 22. I made a video the other day on some hitting tips, and it was a very short video, so I wanted to put a full inning here so you guys can kind of see. Um, my team was on the top, as you can tell, so I'm going to give you guys hitting tips. Keep in mind, my team is ridiculously stacked, so take that for what it is. Um, but if you guys are having any trouble hitting, like I said, try watching this. There you can see, so I had Trey Turner leading off this game, and his super card charge, um, this must be an older game because he only had 91 there, but he had the super charge card where he was up to a, I think it was like a 99 overall with all my parallax shit, so... Him and Tony Gwynn, dude, like, having him and then Tony Gwynn after, it was so nice to have two monster hitters, but uh, Turner's back down to, like, an 85 overall, I think, just his regular uh, diamond card, so um, I'm going to take him out of my lineup and probably go somewhere else at, uh, at second base, use somebody else, but he was fun to use here. Um, I really like having guys with really good contact and just great speed. Um, if you can get one or two of those guys to lead off on your team, you'll be really good. If you're looking for somebody cheap who's a great leadoff hitter, I would honestly recommend Brian Reynolds from the Pirates. He can play anywhere in your outfield. He has really good vision and really good contact. Now, there are some other outfielders. There is, um, if you're looking for cheap, good ones, the 90 overall Mike Trout, 90 overall Ronald Acuna, those are very good cards. Uh, Byron Buxton is a great card, too. The only thing, they don't have the greatest vision. It's like 50-60 for their vision, and... I suck with my PCI. I like having a giant PCI. I would rather, personally, I would rather have a player who has more vision and lacks contact than, um, or, yeah, more vision and lacks power, rather, than less vision and, like, insane power, because it's just, I'd rather be able to get hits consistently than just, like, the rare home runs or anything. I don't know what I was doing in that last, not this one here with Gibson, but that last base running error. That was just a blunder on my part there. Um... But as you can see, this guy is pitching a lot of stuff in the strike zone. So my one big tip for pitches, if you're striking out and chasing a lot of pitches, I said this in my other video, just start taking pitches. There you can see he jams me up with an inside fastball. Um, that's a pitch I should have taken. I was in a 1-0 count right there. I could have made him throw way more stuff, but I was just um, not patient enough, man, and just too, too anxious, and I swung at that. So, yeah, that's one tip, like, take pitches, especially if you're chasing stuff. Like, I chased that one right there, and I got lucky I got a hit with it, but I probably shouldn't have swung at that. Um, but it is what it is. We swing at it and get a base hit with Tatis, so that worked out there. But, yeah, watch the chasing, because that's one thing I would do. I would just chase, like, fucking crazy. And I see a lot of guys making the same mistake. If I'm pitching, um, like, Roy Halladay, he got such great break on his pitches. Like, I can get people to chase shit so much outside the zone, and it's like... I get frustrated when I'm chasing pitches and just can't hit anything, so um, that's my tip, guys. Be patient, use players with a lot of contact and really good um, vision, because that's going to give you a bigger PCI. So the PCI is when I'm up to bat, you can see, uh, I'll wait till it shows up here, but that little... Uh, that old blue bar I'm moving back and forth, that's your PCI, so that's how big your vision is. So you can see um, bottom left right there where Trey Turner's is. His is a pretty decent size, he's got good vision, so that's why I like to have him. I had him as my leadoff just because of his speed. Tony Gwynn is a monster. If you guys haven't done the set for him, um, it's the Padre set, so you are going to need a lot of stubs. I think Tatis is still pretty expensive, but dude, it's so worth it. Um, Look at that, 125 contacts, 40 power, and 121 vision. Like, you legit don't even have to, like, aim your left joystick. You can just leave it in the center of the plate. Gwyn's good enough to get hits for you, so he's a monster. Uh, he has 90 speed and 99 stealing, so his speed is good enough to steal bases for you. There you can see he rips one that just stays fair for a nice double there, and I think I hold Turner. Yeah, so here's another thing. Like I said, um, it's a hitting tips video, but... There's no outs. Turner has a 99 speed, but why risk it? Um, no outs at all. And there you can see Albert Pujols is up. Albert getting us a nice little line drive past the third base line there. So um, usually what I like to do, guys, is always contact swing. Um, there's some instances, I don't know, or uh, normal swing rather. So I use the X button to swing. Now there's some instances like that where if I have Albert Pujols up, who has monster power, and I have no outs and two guys on scoring position, I'm just going to use the circle button because I just want, I don't even want to, home run. I just want something to the outfield to score a run for me. Pretty sure I used uh, the circle button there, which is a contact swing, and I get that nice little um, two RBI base hit down the third baseline. Here I have Mookie Betts up, who I think I sold Mookie Betts just because he's a good card, but I wanted the stubs to get some pitching. Um, one other tip, guys. If you have a Road to the Show character, put him in Diamond Dynasty. I just started doing this, and it's so nice. Um, so the best hitter in the game right now, I think, that you can buy besides George Brett, is um, Carlos Delgado. He's like a 97 overall, and he's going for like 
100k stubs, 120k stubs, something like that. He has like 110, 120 um, contact and power. My Road to the Show guy is an 88 overall. He has 125 power. So it's like just grind Road to the Show for a little bit and put him into your Diamond Dynasty team. And you can legit get like a free $200 card with just, uh, just some grinding Road to the Show. So I actually played against a guy who had a custom pitcher. And he had such weird pitches and shit. I'm like, I should have thought of that. Now, I would rather have the hitter than the pitcher, but um, if you, have, you can make like a two-way player or something. It just takes a long time to grind. But yeah, this guy had a custom pitcher, and he had such fucking weird pitches. It was all like shit that was like 60 miles an hour, 70 miles an hour, and then like 100 mile an hour fastball. I'm like, damn, this guy's mi mixing it up good. So I actually started a pitcher in Diamond Dynasty. He's only like a 70 overall, but once I actually grind that out more and get some um, good gameplay and stuff with him, or get his levels up, I'll get some gameplay with him in Diamond Dynasty. I am not sure how long this video is. Like, I think it ends about here. I think this guy rage quits after he strikes out. So I have Tony Gwynn, pull holes, and Mookie bets up there. You can see end of the third inning, eight runs, 11 hits, and three innings. So that's my uh, little... Um, video trying to help you guys out with some hitting tips and just some random shit about the game. I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos on this channel, so if you like the video, hit thumbs up, please subscribe, do all that uh, gay shit, and I will see you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.